Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. How are you guys doing? I thought today I would go over a few, like use a few materials in a formula that I don't think I've ever gone over before. So hopefully you'll learn a little bit about some new materials and then be able to know kind of how to use them in a um, small formula. So let's get started. So um, the, and I'll put the stuff up on, the, I'll put the names on the screen so you will be able to see them. Um, the first one is the base and it's no secret. It's the It's No Secret base from Creating Perfumes. And it's, um, it's no secret. So it's an equal mix of Hedione, Isui Super, and Ethylene Brassolate. And let's see. <clears throat> so the other ones are individual. I have one other base of mine. Um, but the other ones are individual molecules that I will go over with you to help you to teach you about them. So in fact, I want to do the, it's no secret. Actually, I'm going to put that in last to, cause I'll, it will, I'll know how much to put. So anyway, I'll explain that at the end. If you don't understand why I want to do that one last already. So. The first one is Cassis Givco, C-A-S-S-I-S -S -S from Givco, or Givadon, it's their Givco line. Um, this is at 10%. Um, it is strong, even at 10%. It's going to go a long way. It is a black currant, like the leaves more, so it's really green. It's not really the cat pee. Because it's a very common like Cassis um, bud can be very very strong, like sulfurous cappy kind of a thing. But this is um, obviously artfully done by Givadan, and at ten percent, it's it's really really nice. I'm gonna put just one drop. It's just really strong. It's one that I would always start with one drop and I would come back later if I wanted to add another one. But it's one you could overdo really easy and you just don't want to do that. It's 36 hours. Um, yeah. The next one is Floral, F-L-O-R-O-L. -O -O I think I, I've used this before. It's really, it gives a lot of diffusion um, diffusiveness into your formulation, but it doesn't change the direction of your formula and where you're wanting to go. So it's very almost transparent, um, but in a not like Hedione one, one drop is I want to say a lot, but I'm making a really small formula, um, and that's plenty for this. It it has a, it gives character, and it's an elegant floral, but it's not like a floral where you can pick out what kind of flower. It's just a ge general floral, but like a transparent, but can give some lift and some diffusiveness to, and freshness, and it's soft. And it's fresh and soft at the same time. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really nice. I like it. The next one is um, um, Floor Hydral. F L O R H Y D R A A L. And this one is, it's by Jivadan again. Um, but I think it's a molecule. Um, it's 144 hours. Um, it's fresh lily hyacinth. This one's more intense. This will t change the direction. This will bring the floral out. Um, 
it can easily go in the direction if you're wanting to use it one one drop if you're wanting to use it in a citrus formula it will easily fit into that direction so if you have a lot of citruses going on in your fragrance this will easily fit into that it also will easily fit into the green space it easily will fit into the floral space and easily can it, with your aldehydes as well this absolutely um, this one's really versatile because it can go with wood as well. It, yeah, it's it's very, very versatile. The next one is, I'm going to destroy, I don't even want to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm going to just spell it. Um, S-C-L-A-R-E-O-L-A-T-E. -E. It's by Fermanish. <laughs> I'm afraid to even give it a stab. I destroy those words because I've just never really heard people pronounce them so I don't know how to pronounce them this can this one is an interesting one because sometimes I go to it and I put it away for a while and I come back to it but I always keep coming back to it and each time I smell it differently and I said that on my last video but this um about a different one but this I I smell it differently because I've had, you know, that it could be used with white florals and I wrote that on here and I couldn't ever f figure that out. And now I'm like, oh, oh, now I smell that it can go with the white florals. Now I get that and I understand that up here and like in here, I understand it. Whereas before I knew that it could, but I didn't get it i couldn't detect it and now i can this is one that is hard to describe i don't know um it is um in the lily of the valley family it's an alcohol it's transparent but it's not one two a middle note three i'm gonna do three it is hard to pinpoint this one i um you can use it as a high and a low dose it's kind of like if you had linalol and it was stripped from little all if you just smelled linalol out of the bottle it's very noticeable it's very forward it's very like right there it's it tells you what it is this one doesn't it's almost like a completely transparent stripped down linalol but this can go in a floral like a white petal direction and it's not floral the more I describe it, the more I'm going to confuse you is just the, is really what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is true. It's hard to pinpoint that one. Anyway, the next one is very straightforward. It's Oris Giveco. This is at 5% because it is very strong. One. Yeah, it goes a really long way. One that will go a really really long way um the next one is um it's ma warm leather base this is my um it's a warm leather it's at five percent and as strong as hail good lord one two two drops will go a really really long way so if you have a leather that you like or pyrolone or um the um isobutyl quinolone you can use that um in a very low dose and so i put two i know i have another pen okay i'll remember two um the next one is i know i've never talked about this um bor uh boronol not bornianol no, boronol, B-O-R-O-N-A-L, 10%. 
this is um, a dry, sweet kind of tobacco, wood, leather, violet, hay, completely. It's like, oh my God, that sounds complex. It completely is. 10%. It is all of those wrapped into one. Like when you smell it, you're, you're smelling every single one of those at the same time. So when you smell it, you're like, bah, 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 bah. you're listing off all of these things because that is what you're getting all at the exact same time. They don't come in layers. They're all like together. Very, very interesting. Yet clean, not earthy. It's very, very interesting. I love it. It's very different. One, two, and that will go a really long way. Um, so I did two drops of that as well. Um, it, it um, it's from Simrise. It's, uh, yeah, it's a middle note. So it's not like boom heavy. It's this lighter middle note that's just so complex. You get all of these materials from this one molecule or, or this one um, aroma molecule. Yeah, because it's an aroma molecule. Um, it's just how amazing that it's so complicated and it's one thing. That stuff blows my mind. This is one aroma molecule. What? It's so complex. It's crazy. Anyway, crazy. So now we're at It's No Secret. And based off of what I have in here, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And you may like be like, that's a lot. Well, 16. I need to see if I can grab my pen. Hold on. I got it. 16, 2, and 2. Okay. Um, I feel like I know these materials pretty well and how much I put in there. And so I think this is going to work. I think this will be the um, perfect amount. This will be a good amount. And maybe it's not enough and maybe it's too much. I don't know what I'm going to find out. But I think it's it, it should be good at 16 drops. Yeah, you could wear this today. This is where you almost cannot pick out any of the other thing. You cannot pick out anything. It's really well blended all together. Complicated. Whoa. And this is one of those times where, guess what I did not put in here, but you would swear that it's in here as a citrus, like a bergamot or lemon or orange you would swear that it's in here but it's not it's this is a freak this is a finished fragrance and complicated i really like this one I did not expect this one to turn out that good because I just, I'm like, I want to pick some really random, really different things to put together and see if I can make a fragrance with it. And individually to me, they're random. Random, I guess, meaning, I know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's a pretty random, it's not your typical stuff, whatever. They're it's a lot of pretty random things, but that I think would go well together, and they did. Um, yeah, so hopefully that helps you with um, how to use these different materials and kind of maybe what they're like, um, that kind of thing. But I hope you try this formulation out. And... Um, Again, you can always substitute in other things, or if you don't like this, you could, if you don't like leather, you can use something different and whatever and make it a floral instead of a leather and trading things out like that. Absolutely. So 
Thank you so much for being here and sharing this time with me. And I hope that um, you learned more about materials and more about blending. And thank you so much for your love and kindness. And I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.